Mox and Spencer's grain free granola is today's live video. My name is Jodie Wunting. This is our food for thought video, helping you lose weight by choosing clean food. So this is something new at Mox and Spencer's. I say new, it's been there for uh, quite a few months and this is the new luxury range. Now there's four different black bags. It is black bag. Um, there's four different ranges of luxury granola and one of them is this one, which basically hasn't got any grains in. So if you're gluten free, if you're trying to do a low carb diet or you just want to have something clean and nutritious, this is the granola for you. Now, because it's Marks and Spencer's and because it's luxury, it's obviously quite expensive. It's, it will set you back about four quid for a bag of this. However, uh, there is around uh, eight servings in here as well. So if you, if you factor that in, it's actually quite cheap, much cheaper than buying fresh croissants or some of the breakfast cereals, which can be as expensive as this. Um, as I said, the secret is not what's in it, but what's not in it because it hasn't got those grains. So what it is, is, or this is the overview before we go through the ingredients. It's coconut seed and chopped nut granola mixed with whole almonds and freeze dried berry pieces, which sounds exciting. You know, who doesn't like freeze dried uh, berry pieces? That personally reminds me of that uh, Country Crisp. Remember that amazing cereal that's got like a million calories in it per bowl. Uh, so hopefully it will give us that sort of spark. Uh, but the actual ingredients are coconut chips, which is 25%, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flaked almonds, 10%, golden linseed, uh, chicory fibre, I don't know what that is, chopped pecan nuts 6%, chopped cashew nuts 5%, whole almonds 4%, freeze-dried raspberry pieces, freeze-dried strawberry pieces um, and freeze-dried blueberries. So straight away there's no sugar, there's no uh, fructose, corn syrup, all that sort of jazz that you find in breakfast cereals. So this is why it's probably the only recommend, uh, only cereal that I would recommend. Obviously there is porridge, it's higher in carbs, um, but that is a good, gr that's probably the best grain porridge if you do want a breakfast cereal like that. But if you're looking for grain free, if you're looking for keto, this is the one for you. Now per 45 gram serving, now we all know what these things are like when you look at the portion size, 45 grams, I've weighed it out and that's how much it is. So you wouldn't say it's a massive amount, but as you know with granola, takes quite a long time to eat, so that is quite substantial, 45 grams. It's got 268 calories in, um, and just for your other information as well, carb-wise, it's 7.1 grams, and protein-wise, there's 8 grams of protein there as well. So you can see overall, it's ticking a few boxes, and it's still a breakfast cereal. So, what can you add this to? So what I would recommend is, of course, some whole milk, also known as blue milk, which is 4% fat. Uh, I would suggest for this amount around 200 ml. You could have a little bit less if you like your cereal uh, drier. But you can see that 200 ml more than covers those seeds. Now, if you've got sensitive teeth, what I would do is either have that milk hot so it just makes it a little bit softer or just leave this for a few minutes. You can actually see you could have 150 ml um, or even 100 ml if you're not even that fussed over milk. Um, now this works out at just under 150 calories. So this whole bowl is 400 calories. So if you were on something like the 800 fast by Michael Mosley, this is gonna be one of your two 400 calorie meals. And also, because it's got the seeds in, it's got the fruit in as well, it's gonna keep you nice and full. Just showing you that consistency right there. So let's give this a try. Now, whenever you eat cereals, our brains are trained for that shot of sugar. You don't get the shot of sugar. The massive flavour is coconut. Because it's 25% coconut, 
Let me just have another guy. Where you've got the texture of the seeds. You can get that dried fruit, it'll taste a little bit. But I wouldn't say it really sweetened it too much. I think there's just enough in there to take away maybe the sourness, the bitterness of the seeds. Oh, let's go for another one. Can you hear that crunching? So that is the almonds. Have a little look at the the nuts and things, everything in there. If you're on a budget, definitely go for porridge. If you're trying to do low carb, then this is what I would recommend. And as I said, it's the Marks and Spencer's luxury, grain free, no added sugar, granola. About four quid from your local Marks and Spencer's. Right, that's it for me now, guys. I'm gonna finish off this. Bye.